bipartisan nature of this agreement, especially in the Senate with the Senate leadership, is going to take the issue of the quote unquote tax increase to some tax relate to others off the table as a campaign issue. You know, I've been through a lot of campaigns in my 15 or so years in political life, and uh, what is said in political campaigns and in 30 second ads sometimes is vaguely related to the truth. Uh, much of the time, there is uh, little or no connection. So I'm not worried about how this is going to be characterized. Uh, I will characterize it in a way that is consistent with my point of view, and I'm sure others will characterize it in a way that they feel is consistent with their point of view, and ultimately, uh, I hope it then depends on which side has the most effective media team, but uh, I, uh, I believe that the public will sort this out. I think the public um, uh, has a way of uh, not always understanding the specifics of an issue. I think they, they have a way, though, of developing um, a feeling about issues, uh, and uh, so it's not something that I'm uh, really worried about, Gil. Um, I, uh, uh, there'll be lots to talk about. Governor, this your, will only be one. Governor, what's your message to the Republicans who are going to vote no on the budget fix today? Well, you know, I don't, I don't know that I would send them a message. But I would express an opinion. Uh, you know, I think when you're a majority party, uh, you have a responsibility to govern. And um, I mean, there's a reason why we have an executive branch and two legislative branches. <coughs> and um, uh, those who are in the majority have a special obligation to govern. And uh, so, um, if you know. People can make up their minds as to whether or not uh, that's happened in this case. Governor, those business groups you mentioned earlier uh, bought into it uh, with the caveat that this would definitely be a temporary uh, sure. delay. Sure. I mean, did you guarantee to them in the next budget that that will not be part of your blue book, that you would try to make that permanent? You know, uh, I, I never guarantee what I might do under what circumstances that may occur. Uh, but. Uh, obviously, no one, no one has fought harder to preserve uh, House Bill 66 provisions than I have, um, and uh, this is a temporary delay. It's, uh, I have no intention of making it other than a temporary delay, and uh, uh, that's uh, <coughs> that's what I propose. That's what's uh, in the in the bill that's being passed. And uh, I, uh, as I've said, I was not here when, when HB 66, or HR 66 was passed, uh, but I have embraced it. I have made it a part of two budgets now, um, and I have advocated for it. Um, quite frankly, and you all know this, you read your own newspapers, I've taken some real uh, uh, political heat uh, from the media for being as uh, tenacious in my support uh, as I was. Uh, what, what I faced, and I'll just reiterate again, what I faced was, uh, was a shortfall due to a decision made by the Supreme Court that deprived us of uh, having access to BLT resources in this budget. So when that happened, I felt like I had three, three courses of action to choose from. One would have been uh, to cut and additionally uh, in the budget. And I felt I had I had cut and cut and cut. And quite frankly, when some of the when some of the uh, 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 Senate seemed to indicate that they would possibly pass a bill that would just keep me from cutting education, but give me the authority to cut $851 million elsewhere in the budget, um, 
Well, I think that's relevant to what I said about the responsibility to govern. But I, I, I said there's nowhere else to cut. You know, if, if someone thinks there's somewhere else to cut, tell me. Tell me what that is. But I think there's nowhere else to cut. Um, uh, so, so that was not a viable option. And um, uh, uh, raising taxes was not a viable option, not something that I think was in the best interest of the state, given the economy especially. And so the only other option that I felt was available to me was to delay the final reduction of state income tax. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, this was not something that I wanted to do. Um, it was something that I felt was um, uh, out, out of a number of very d difficult choices, the best choice out of those. And um, and so, you know, we've, we've, we're getting it done. Fine.